Hello and uh, welcome to the uh, day two class presentation. I wanted to spend a few minutes with you discussing uh, some of the uh, first steps in these online courses. And so I, you're going to notice that I have the uh, Canvas screen up dashboard, which for you, uh, it would be pretty identical. Uh, you'd be able to kind of find out which, which courses you're signed up for and then uh, the very few steps that you would do in my online courses to get you started on the right foot. So uh, the first thing we would do is go to um, obviously where it says courses on the left hand uh, side of your screen and you notice that when I hover it says courses so like in, in my case I would click on my courses it shows a list of courses that I'm teaching and for this presentation we're going to use the my 201 course the introduction to administration of justice which is very similar to almost identical to all the courses that I teach in terms of how we set up Revel. So I'll go ahead and click on the link for the class. And then as you can tell, we just landed on the uh, home page. Um, yours will be very similar to this. Um, and when you log in, I want you to get familiar with, uh, you know, the face page here. Um, it has a welcome message tells you how to that you need a new textbook for the class and we're going to talk about the activation code in just a second here but uh, if you have a disability uh, there's a link here blue link on the screen there to click on disability services at Modesto Junior College so that you can get set up with that and then if you keep scrolling down you see a picture of your textbook uh, we'll talk about that when we discuss Revel and then meet your professor, click on that link to show you my qualifications to teach the course, and then uh, read the class syllabus. Very important to read the class syllabus so that you know what's expected whenever you encounter an issue dealing with Revel or um, one technology related that you have to uh, contact the online help desk. So, and then the first assignment, introduce yourself to the class and respond to at least two other classmates course content is where you start the modules and we'll talk about that in a second as well and then lastly you have a link to my YouTube which um, you know if you need some motivation uh, it's on 24 hours a day as you know YouTube never shuts down so uh, click on that to kind of peruse just some of the videos so let's get started with the first step in the course and I scroll back up on the home page here and you see on the left hand side here where it says Pearson Revel by now you should have visited the uh, college bookstore whether it was online or in person and purchase an activation code to Pearson Revel. Um, that activation code um, will give you access to the online textbook and then on the class syllabus I mentioned that if you're an administration or just a student that you should also um, request a hard copy loose leaf of your textbook uh, that you can use in the future for about $20 uh, delivered to your home address. So the first step is obviously to click on Pearson Revel and to agree to the terms and then create a student account. Um, and uh, what you'll eventually get to the page. Um, I mentioned don't use your personal email. Make sure you use the college email when you're setting up a Pearson Revel. And th the main reason for this is that you, um, in case you forget your password, you need some help. The only way the online help desk will help you is if you have a college email address that they can also reset the password if you forgot that. So um, back to what I was saying earlier, you'll eventually get to a page where it asks you to enter the activation code that you purchased for Revel um, or it will give you a selection. Uh, for example, you can scroll down on that page and it gives you the option to a free temporary 14 day access to Pearson Revel. Uh, this will give you access to a free online textbook for the first two weeks of the course uh, while you're trying to figure out your finances. Uh, and if you need help, there's a ton of help out there now, free textbook vouchers, etc., through the Pathway Center located on the East Campus uh, Enrollment Services Building at the corner of Coldwell Avenue and uh, College Avenue. So anyway, that's the first step is the Pearson Revel, getting that set up. Uh, all the quizzes for this class will be located on Pearson Revel. All your chapter question assignments are located on Pearson Revel and are due on a weekly basis. And then uh, once you get that mastered, obviously, um, the next thing down is right here on the left-hand side is modules. And you're gonna click on modules and each week a new chapter will open and with that chapter comes class assignments. If this is your first time taking an online class, um, 
you'll find that you have to be your own cheerleader uh, as there is no classroom to attend in terms of physical status but you have to be the one that motivates you to get this course completed so the sooner you get these class discussion assignments completed the sooner you get them submitted the sooner I grade them and then you start to see results on the grade book on a regular basis throughout the week and uh, while we're on the grade topic I wanted to also mention that um, because we use Pearson Rebel and each week you have a different number of available points uh, when you um, start on those points which are broken down to assignments chapter questions and chapter quiz if you do let's just say you do just the chapter questions and you log off you'll see your grade dip you know and sometimes it's a substantial dip you know maybe go from an A to a C I don't want you to panic uh, this is just the system uh, showing you what you've completed and what you still need to complete so the system doesn't want you to also get this misconception that just because you completed 50 points out of 140 possible points for the week that you have an A in the class the system wants you to know exactly what your score is at that specific point in the class and so if you complete a few assignments uh, for that week but you haven't completed all the assignments and it shows that you have a C don't panic no need to email the instructor click on grades access your gradebook and then you'll see what's missing as far as grades once you look at the gradebook and something is missing that you've submitted you may send me a note asking me to uh, please grade your assignment if it's bothering you it's showing you that uh, you have a low score but once your assignment is entered into the gradebook for that specific assignment after Sunday at midnight uh, then that should be your accurate score in the class so usually Monday morning everything is calibrated uh, but just keep in mind that at times uh, Revel may take up to 72 hours 48 to 72 hours for all of the points to transfer over to Canvas gradebook so I urge you not to panic uh, not to say you know I'm not, I'm not making it because every student in your position the first time you took an online class from me they experienced the same things okay on the left hand side grades um, I just went over it with you in detail but I do encourage you to check your gradebook quite often uh, log into the class at least four days a week I recommend Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursdays and then even Fridays uh, just to confirm that all your grades have been submitted on these assignments one thing that's different uh, starting two semesters ago if you've taken classes with me is that now you're supposed to post by Wednesday before 12 p.m. for your first posting on canvas discussion assignments and then the responses to students you have to submit them before Friday at 12 p.m. anything over that you'll be docked 20 percent uh, you know penalty because there's just no simple way of other students responding to your posting in time I'm gonna go ahead and click on modules real quick so that you see what I'm talking about for example the first module here under module 1 chapter 1 and you click on that and then this gives you kind of a overview of what's expected for this week that we're on and so here's the uh, the uh, chapter questions that will be presented to you in Revel for chapter 1 and then you see here how week 1 uh, the dates of course it's going to change every semester so that I want you to get locked into dates your assignments is to read the class syllabus and then introduce yourself and then take the MJC online readiness quiz update my profile I'm reading this information right from your module um, and on your profile make sure that you have a picture of yourself not of anybody else or pets or babies that has to be only a picture of you similar to a, a uh, yearbook picture and then take the syllabus quiz so that you understand uh, what you're expected out of this class and uh, memorize the uh, class title so if I, you email me it's a good idea always to include the class that you're currently enrolled in I have a lot of students I have a lot of courses I teach and it's important for you to do that and then uh, look down here there's a link to PowerPoint presentation for chapter one I encourage you to review the PowerPoint and then listen to the audio lecture for chapter one it'll be my voice and in some cases depending on which smartphone you have you'll be able to download that to your smartphone and then if you have some nice um, uh, earbuds airpods etc you can listen to the when you go for a jog etc important to listen to the audio lecture so that you kind of get a feel for what we're learning for that particular chapter uh, I have the introduce yourself link here as a second location 
Notice that it says before Wednesday at 12 p.m. Um, and make sure you do a nice introduction. Don't just say, hi, my name is John, and I've been here two semesters, and I'm looking forward to the course. Um, the first discussion posting, I'd like to see at least 100 words or more. Uh, usually 125 to 150 is a na nice little introduction. And then responses to classmates have to be between 75 and 100 words. So please don't try to just use fillers. Uh, you can just like, you know, act as if you're talking in a regular class when you respond to classmates. The next thing down here, and we're almost done with this presentation, is the access Pearson Revel and complete the following assignments. You'll notice here on your screen that you have chapter questions and you have a chapter quiz. And, uh, and then it shows when it expires. Uh, for this particular assignment, it expires Sunday, September 1st, Labor Day weekend, uh, 2019 at 8.59 p.m. Some of you that are taking this course are located on the East Coast. Um, this course is based out of California, West Coast. So keep that in mind. Uh, when I say it closes at 8.59 p.m., you may have a three-hour difference. Uh, and if you're in different parts of the world, you even have a bigger difference. Um, never a good idea to wait until the weekends to complete assignments as um, you're just going to get penalized for not responding to other classmates. I will try to open up assignments early throughout the week so that you can work ahead. You can certainly work ahead, but uh, working behind will cost you penalty points. Um, and then that's pretty much it on the uh, first week introduction. Um, I am a professor who believes in uh, motivating students to succeed. But uh, as I mentioned to you in my previous videos, that it has to be a two-way street. Uh, this relationship between you and I means that you um, obviously are going to do your best, um, and I'm going to do my best, but it takes two of us. I can't just be on this side being the cheerleader and motivating you, and then you're on that side creating every excuse as to why you're not going to succeed in college. Um, I've said it before in many of my videos. I'll continue to say it until I retire. Um, this college education is for you, so you have to become super selfish about uh, what you are working on. I know that every single one of you is overcoming some challenges. Uh, we all do. Uh, I know I did when I worked on my various academic degrees, and I had to make a lot of sacrifices. So I completely relate to what you're going through, but again, I want you to become super selfish about getting your college degree. Uh, don't allow life circumstances to deter you off track. Um, if you had any issues whatsoever, email me directly. Um, don't be surprised by the abruptness of my emails. Remember, there is no emotion in on online email communication. And so if you send me a question regarding Revel, and I need to refer you to Revel, I'll refer you to a Revel representative as I'm required to do so per the uh, current agreement that we have with them. Um, they have representatives uh, on call 24 hours a day to fix your issue, and we're going to do it as fast as possible. There's not going to be any drag whatsoever. Um, same thing with your online help desk. If you send me an email and it requires uh, me to tell you, call the online help desk because that's a technology issue. Don't take it personal. That's just how we, we do things here. Um, if you've spoken to the Revel, people always obtain a trouble ticket case number so that we can follow up uh, on the issue at a later time. And the same thing with the online help desk. Please get a, a name and a date and time that you called. We can always verify if you have done that. So you have to do the first groundwork on any issue you have dealing with Revel or the online help desk. And again, please don't take it personal. This is just how things are done. Uh, if you've had me in the classroom, you know that I don't sugarcoat anything. So if you send me questions, and a lot of you will throughout the semester, um, if you ask me career-related questions, life advice questions, uh, I'm very blunt uh, when it comes to the answers, and I'm not going to sugarcoat them. I'm not a politician, never have been, and my main goal is to get you through the course. So uh, thank you for listening. Uh, the video will be ending shortly. Um, best way to email me is on Canvas email or uh, at my personal email, adju.mjc at gmail.com. I check that regularly. Remember, as it's stated on the course syllabus, I only check email from Monday through Friday before 12 p.m. So um, if you email me after 12 on Friday during the weekend, I'm probably not checking email. So I urge you to post any questions to the Cyber Cafe, allow other classmates to help you with that. And I'm going to conclude the video. Thank you for listening, and we'll stay in touch. Best wishes on the school semester, and uh, we'll talk soon.